Well, let's turn now to your pinpoint forecast. We're looking live here at Uptown Charlotte from our exclusive Arlington camera. We've seen some sun today and it's helped contribute to that summer sizzle for the unofficial first weekend of the season. And meteorologist Andrew Bretman joins us here. Andrew, yeah. there's not much of a chance of a cool down this weekend. Uh, no, this weekend that's not going to be the case at all. Really what I'm starting to watch and pinpoint is the middle part of next week. Not so much for a big drop in temperatures, Robin, mm -hmm. but for a lowering of the humidity mm -hmm. across the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. Also, though, in the meantime, we still have to watch the rest of your Memorial Day weekend and the potential for some strong storms. Watching in particular your Memorial Day for the best chance of any type of widespread storm activity. But we've been seeing some dark clouds started rolling to Charlotte. Looking good, though, over in Monroe currently. Let's jump right into your forecast right now. 83 degrees as you step out the door here. Uptown Charlotte, you see some of those dark clouds rolling. It's all part of that storm, storm that I was talking about in Gasson County. Temperatures all across North and South Carolina as we go through the first day of the holiday weekend. A lot of temperatures in the low to mid 80s out there. Some of the hotter spots, uh, Greenville as well as Columbia at 86 and 87 respectively. At the beach, it's been a similar story today. A lot of low to mid 80s along the outer banks and tomorrow more of the same with perhaps an isolated shower or storm. Pinpoint satellite radar, there's what we're watching right here. Moving through Gaston County outside of a couple of localized showers down in Chesterfield County. This is all we have got to watch here, but a decent amount of lightning strikes, non-severe right now, but moving through Gastonia, seeing some absolutely torrential downpours right now in Gastonia, but that won't last all that long. Give it about 15 to 20 minutes and it will move out. We zoom out, we go wide here. What's going on? We got high pressure sort of in control, even though we are seeing a little bit of storm activity developing around it, but no major frontal boundaries that are moving through anytime soon here. The muggy meter. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Could see a really big drop in the humidity once we get to about Tuesday and beyond, in particular Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. So if you can take the temperatures in the low 80s, but you really want that humidity to come down, just hang in there. Some much needed relief could be on the way. Future casts we go through this evening. Again, pop of shower storm is possible. Anything that we see won't be particularly long lived across the Carolinas. Now we head through the evening overnight hours. Pretty quiet here. I don't think we'll see any overnight showers or storms like what we saw. This Passover night. Now, as we go through your Sunday morning, beautiful weather, albeit we'll be getting toasty fast as we head into the afternoon hours. Temperatures into the upper 80s, probably right around the 90 degree mark here on your Sunday afternoon. I'm going to use it. It's going to be hot out there for the second half of your Sunday. Then we're watching again. This is going to be important for the Coca Cola 600. An isolated storm is possible, though I'd say the odds right now are better than 50 50 that there's no sort of delay with the race. But of course, that is something we'll be keeping an eye on all day long. All eyes will be on Charlotte Motor Speedway tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. We keep moving forward here. Maybe a pop up shower storm heading into your Monday. That is going to be the day to watch. I'll talk more about it coming up a little bit later on in the hour. Memorial Day, we do have a slight risk. And this is the day three outlook, a tier two out of five for potential severe weather across large swaths of North Carolina. That's something we have to keep an eye on. Big potential, of course, damaging winds as well as quarter size hail moving through. As for tonight, what are we keeping our eye on? Not a whole lot if you're going to be doing some backyard grilling, but a possible shower storm moving through. Still going to be toasty. And it's not just going to be the grill that's going to be heating you up, but that high heat and humidity that wants to stick around. Temperatures slowly try to cool down here, eventually down into the middle 60s overnight. Low temperatures, see those mid 60s across the Sand Hills, mid to upper 60s, even here in Charlotte. Low to mid 60s up into the foothills and the mountains. It's the only place where you'll be able to open up the windows here and let some of that cooler air on in. Dog walking forecast tomorrow, no major issues to be had. Maybe a pop up shower or storm during the afternoon, but not going to be a huge deal. This is going to be the big deal. It's going to be one of the hottest days we've seen so far in 2024. A lot of upper 80s and low 90s. Robin was talking about the unofficial start of summer this weekend. Well, it's going to be feeling officially like summer out there. Pinpoint seven day forecast Memorial Day. We've got that potential for showers and storms during the afternoon. Then we see lower temperatures. Most importantly, though, Robin, we're going to get a nice drop in the humidity on the way once we get to the middle and latter part of this upcoming week. That sounds nice. Thanks, Andrew.